Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're walking around a 1970 Camaro. This one's got a 350 under the hood. Looks like power steering. Pretty clean engine bay. And we're gonna be taking it down the road after this video for a test drive. This video here, I'm gonna point out any kind of chips, scratches, flaws, dents, rust, anything that I can find so you know exactly what you're buying before you get here. I also have 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with shipping and financing on any car on this car lot. We just updated the website with 10 new vehicles. Be sure to check that out. Lot Walk is coming up here on the YouTube page. So hit subscribe, also share and like. That helps us out quite a bit. Let's get started. Coming around the front bumper. I like going down on the lower portions first, looking for any kind of flaws. This bumper here has some pitting and some scratches on it. The trim around the headlight bezel does have a dent right there. You got some cracks in this light here. Coming around the front end, there's a scratch. A little bit of pitting in the grill. Coming down this side, I like shooting down the lower portion. That's usually where the problems consist. The tires are in great shape. American racing rims with disc brakes on the front. A couple chips in the paint. A little bubble popping up in the corner of that door. You've also got some issues popping up right here in front of the passenger rear tire, which has great tread on it. Coming up over the fender. A couple chips in the back there. Coming down the mid section. You got some pitting on your door handle popping up. It looks like a little dent right here in the middle of the door. Real small, but I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. I'm trying to point it out for you. There's also another one right here. It's real small. Uh, some light little bubbles popping up. That's a chemical peel. It happens when you have something in the air around the paint job when you're painting it. You've also got some chips that have been touched up right there. I will slow down and show you when I see stuff. A little bit more of that chemical peel up here in the front coming down the lower portion i mean the, the upper portion here got a little spot in the paint there front windshield's in decent shape trim looks pretty good mirrors in good shape got a line in the paint job right here corner there it's got some cracking back window has been tinted but you can see it's kind of older tint coming around the back end dual exhaust out the back an older bumper uh, you can replace these fairly cheap it's got pitting all over it you can see they painted the trunk but they painted the weather stripping as well they got a little piece of wood in there so this thing won't fall down on you it does stay open about right there, uh, but I'm not gonna use that piece of wood, it's too low. They painted the inside of the trunk lid, the jams, and the weather stripping. See, it's got a little spot there. And it had a little spot there. You got a little bit of moisture popping up in here. I did just wash the car and it looked like it dripped in right there in the corner. The pan actually looks pretty good. Package tray, not in bad shape. Kind of looks like it's new over there, doesn't it? Same on this side. May have been replaced. Check, make sure the keys are inside and uh, before I shut it, you see the stripes crinkled up right there and it's got a few bubbles on it. The corner here. Coming down with this. 
locked up pretty good. Also got some bubbles popping up under the paint on the, the wing back there. Some chips in the corner. Coming down the lower portion. Up over the fender. There's a chip in the paint right there. Corner of that door looks to have some imperfections in it, but not bad. Just got something there. Coming up over this fender. A little blemish in the paint job. Coming back that midsection. Chemicals peel right there. Some little bubbles popping up. You can't even feel them. They're under the clear coat. Couple little chips right there in the middle of the door. Fitting on the door handle. Little spot right there. And on top of the wing, you got a couple of them little spots. We're back on the roof. Looks pretty good. Touch up mark there. Little line in the paint job. I can't even feel it, but it is underneath the clear coat. And in this area, you can see the same thing. But you can't feel it. Okay, made it all the way around this ride. Let's go ahead and check the interior out, get her started up, and I'll get you some undercarriage shots. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a little game we play here on the channel. The interior on this thing looks great. They've replaced the carpet. The seats are in great condition. Even the back seat where my bag's covering everything up so you can't see any of it. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Package tray though needs to be replaced. You can see that is old. Shouldn't be too much. Headliner has been replaced, but it needs to be stretched out better. Look in the middle. We're also missing your light cover. Door panel, not too bad. They still painted over the weather stripping. Got some chips right here. Interior used to be green. And of course, some scratches right there on the inner part of your handle. Door jam's not too bad. Going across the dash in this one. Pretty good shape. I didn't really get time for this one to warm up. Let's see if it starts up good. Cold. It has been, it did run for about 45 seconds. <laughs> All I did was bag it up, put it over here and wipe it off. It does start up nice and easy. Um, no AC on this one, but let's see if the Blower motor does work, so you should have some heat. We'll look under there and make sure that's hooked up. Radio. Clarion, that's an old Clarion. It'd be great if it worked, because I'm sure it'd sound good. It doesn't work though. You got some gauges down here and they look kind of ridiculous. Look at the inside of them. <laughs> well, it's crazy. The engine temperature is probably gonna come up and work. That one is the battery gauge and it looks crazy. Battery gauge is not hooked up, temp gauge is, and the oil pressure is, and the oil pressure is working. I like that shifter. That thing's nice and clean and new, this whole piece here. Coming across the dash, the gas gauge is up. It looks like it's working. I can show you the mileage, it's hard to stand behind that. Uh, wipers. Boom, baby. Whoa, those were fast. That knocked somebody out. <laughs> Old pressure gauge is working. Look at it. What about that horn? Did you place your bets yet? I hope you said no, because it's not working. It don't even push in anymore. No horn. Dash is a little bit off there. Decent shape though. Okay. 
check this motor out, listen to the exhaust, and get you some undercarriage shots. I do hear a little bit of an exhaust leak. It's coming from right here. In the back, really. Other than that, motor's pretty quiet. Like your heat should work it's hooked up and your horn should work they're hooked up too but there was no spring in there there's probably no ground on the horn coming down with the hood here wiggle it back and forth so you don't bend it it's not very stiff but it was still enough to where it could harm something Look it up over the hood. It looks pretty good. Not in bad shape at all. It actually lines up well. It's not full of imperfections. It's nice and clean. Ain't it, Pat? <laughs> oh, no. You do have a spot right there in the corner. It's touched up. All right. Tail lights are on. Same with the headlights. I'm going to get you some undercarriage shots. Check out maplemotors.com for those detailed pictures. And the test drive has a light that I set on the ground, drive over the camera, and light up the undercarriage. Let's look under. Now that this ride is good and warmed up, we're gonna be doing a test drive. I'll link it to the last 30 seconds of this video. I want you to check out both of them so you know everything about them before you call and put a deposit on these cars. Check out maplemotors.com. Look at our finance options. I can ship these cars anywhere in the nation. And if you need help finding any of our inventory here on YouTube, we post the cars on Mondays and the videos come out throughout the week. Usually by Thursday, everything's on. All you have to do is type in the year, the model, and Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar. If that doesn't pull up, do a hashtag stock number. So hashtag 1063. You'll find them. There's almost 2,000 videos here on YouTube and I've got plenty more to make. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, and share these on Facebook if you don't mind. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.